This is video number two for the Logitech QuickCam Pro 9000 review. When you install the software that comes with your QuickCam, this is the icon that will be on your desktop. Just double click it, and this is what will show up. This is your Quick Capture. It shows you what you're recording or taking a picture of. And this is your dock that allows you to select different options. The first option is um, the quick capture, so it can show the quick capture or hide the quick capture. The second button is video effects. Then there's the privacy shade, settings, applications, help, and mic, uh, audio, and video on or off. There's also this top button allows you to go quickly to the website to download other video effects. Over here, you can start or stop recording, or you can take photos with this button. And down here is your gallery where you can see the photos or videos that you have taken. And you just click um, these buttons, video or photo. You can upload your videos directly to YouTube. You can send them via email, print them, delete them, and you don't even need to open any other applications to do this. You can do it straight from your quick capture. Under video effects, you have avatars. There's many of those that you can download. Just press the play button to use one. You have base accessories. You also have fun filters. And again, you can download more of these on the website. Press play to use them. And you have video masks. You also have a privacy shade that you can access through that button. And um, just press play. You can browse for photos, any photo on your computer. And then they will show up and you press play to use one just like this. This is a photo that was on my desktop and I used it as my privacy shade. Next you have settings. Under settings you can tilt or pan your camera. You can zoom or unzoom. There's autofocus or manual focus, face tracking, you can turn to follow me off or follow two or more of us. You can change your brightness, contrast, and you can change the color intensity. And you can also return to default settings. You can click the mic button to change your audio settings, the volume, the, you can adjust recording volume, cancel an echo, or suppress background noises. Here's the right light settings. You can use automatic right light or use it yourself. Here's advanced settings where you can change the exposure or the gain and anything else that you would need to change. Under that button, there is a applications button where you can download um, different applications from the web. Just click on one of the links and it will help you. So there's YouTube, PhotoSmart, VideoSnap, which brings you to eBay. You can share about your cam with friends. And there's many different things that you can do with this button. The next button down is a question mark, which is the help button or the resource guide. You just click on that button, and then if you click on the green link, it will bring you to the resource page, which you need internet connection to do this. And again, the last two buttons are video mute or audio mute. Thanks for watching the second video of the Logitech QuickCam Pro 9000 review.